The paradox of goals is they can give us direction and purpose, yet blind us to the beauty of the present and the opportunities that that holds. Uh, there was meant to be 46. A couple have dropped out and then heaps dropped out during the race. <laughs> I took a full week off running. It felt good. Then I started running again. Lots of short runs, a little bit longer if I felt like it, all at whatever pace and effort that I felt like. I didn't have a goal and that felt good. But a nagging feeling developed. I craved some more structure. And I placated that for a while with some interval sessions. My training started to look a little more formal, like a real training program. And still, I didn't have a goal. And now, I really want a goal. And I did learn something. I learned I didn't need to always be striving. There's more than just working towards the next big thing. I need both. I need to enjoy the present moment, appreciate the beauty, take the opportunities as they present, while still working towards some big goals for the future. It's a combination of the two that work well for me. So what is the next big goal? I look at my calendar, see where it fits in with annual leave, work, the kids' commitment, family. I can find a window that will somewhere be the end of August or the start of September. So what's in the running calendar then? There's a lot. There's plenty that doesn't grab my attention. Let's eliminate those. The Golden Valley last one standing. Another backyard ultra. That has appeal. No, it starts the same day as the kids' grand finals. That's off the cards. What else? Marathon? Hmm, maybe. Hang on. I know this one. It's a workout. Yeah, no other commitments. This will be a chance to turn the clock back. A full decade. Bit of nostalgia in this one. I know what my next big goal is.